He did not take your bet, huh? Technically, it's my, oh, no, crazy, huh? Apparently he has medical record proof that I knocked up Lauren Southern and she had an abortion. I offered him five to one odds. He should just release the proof. He says he has medical records. Why not release the proof? <laughs> did you see that Rolo accused some random Twitter guy with you of being a burner? How many burner accounts do you have? Oh yeah, it's so funny. That must mean he has burner accounts, right? Why the fuck would I, um, why the fuck would I, why would I make burner accounts? Bro, I don't have time. I don't have time to do this shit, okay? Make burner accounts on Twitter? Give us the new Rollo meme. Um, oh, when I did that Charlie show, apparently Dr. K was at his house like five hours earlier. I wish I would've known that. I would've went and ambushed him. Um, that would've been fun. But the, uh, the meme was apparently, the day that I did No Jumper, apparently Rollo and MLD were coming, and I think Sneeko even, might've been doing No Jumper the same day. And apparently Rolo was really worried. You know, I hope I'm not blowing up Flacco's spot by saying this, I'm so sorry. But apparently Rolo was worried he was messaging Flacco and he's like, hey, you guys aren't trying to like ambush me with Destiny or some shit, are you? <laughs> Which is so fucking funny to me that he's that fucking scared of me showing up on some random show with him. What a fucking pussy, holy shit. All that shit talk online and you wouldn't welcome me being there? That's like Christmas to me, bro. Damn, Michaela Peterson fighting with Jordan Peterson about Pearl on Twitter. Holy shit. Your business would definitely take a hit, Dad. This is a resentful woman who hates other women. Tells them they're useless after 3 reviving teams probably get red-pilled lies. Just because the left is crazy doesn't mean people like this aren't. Oof. Do you see that... Pearl's dad built $10 million compound for her to do content stuff in. I'm pretty sure her family is like nine figure, up, guys? like nine figures of wealth. They're, it's, I, I think her family is unimaginably wealthy. Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel. Um, today I'm at my parents' house and I'm gonna be showing you um, the Taj Machette. So when I was in college and I came home and there's this big hole in my backyard and I'm like, dad, what's going on? He said, I'm building a shed. Normally when, when you build a shed, like you think that, you think that it's, it's like a, a warehouse where you just have a couple, you know, four-wheeler blessing. Would you say that is how you describe the shed? Yeah. Yeah. Why does she dress so um, poorly? Okay. Number one. Okay. Let me give you the big, okay, hold on. Before going into all of this, okay, because I'm not here to shit on people's appearances. I think it's kind of cringe. The reason, I think the biggest quote unquote problem, if you want to say there's a problem, the problem with Pearl's appearance, it's, it, it doesn't actually have anything to do with how she dresses. The issue is her, um, I think it's her gait or her demeanor um, physically, like her posture. I don't know why or how, but I think women, um, if you watch the way that women move or women walk, they tend to be like very feminine in presentation. They move in a very deliberate way. Generally, I think a lot of women like subconsciously get this kind of training. Whereas uh, like Pearl is like very much kind of like, uh, I don't even wanna say tomboy. She moves like kind of clumsily a little bit. And I think that's why when people watch her, um, you, you project a lot of other issues where it's like, oh, like why doesn't she dress well or whatever. But it's, I, her outfit here is fine. She's outside. It's just like shorts and a t-shirt. But I think the way that she moves is kind of a little, um, yeah, brutish? I don't know what I would say, but I think that's, but I mean like, I don't think that's a big deal, okay. House where you just have a couple, you know, four-wheeler blessing. Would you say that is how you would describe the shed? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the cool thing about the shed is that we're gonna use it for, um, ideally we're gonna have events here. So we could do like a live show and host, like, you know, you guys can come buy a ticket and come to one of these events. Um, or- I thought Lauren was gonna delete the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of reproduction, society would function fine without women. This is just autism, and once you realize that, it's kind of endearing, and I probably shouldn't have access to social media kind of way. <laughs> probably true. <laughs> you know, concerts, that sort of thing. Like, there's a lot of, or like a YouTube, we want to do a red pill basketball game. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Come on, come on. So, it's half done, by the way. My dad's been saying it'll be done for a while. He does gaslight me, but the big parts are done, okay, the big parts. So, all right, this is where we walk in, okay? Now, this is gonna be like a kitchen entertaining area, so watch, imagine. Guys, welcome to the show. Here's your hors d'oeuvre. Here's your, here's your shrimp cocktail. This is something I brought up a few times also, and I've said this multiple times. Her explosive growth, I think, is not as real as people thought, and I think we're gonna start to see that in the following days, or weeks, or months, or whatever, as the shorts thing kind of dies off a little. Like, this video was posted three weeks ago. It's a pretty cool video. $10 million new content house, 90,000 views. Um, the growth on this channel was largely supported by YouTube Shorts, and YouTube Shorts viewers do not translate to long-term content viewers. They are very, very, very different types of people. Destiny, 
me, let's bowl. I think he's been talking a lot of shit on stream recently, so I, I don't have in terms. But, but regardless, look, we have a bowling alley here. Imagine, the Red Pill Olympics. Now on top of that, to scare off any liberals, because like, obviously you have to be involved in this, because all the, all the liberals will think they'll say you'll be the Red Pill people. But here, let me see if there's a light in here. Yeah, here, okay, we can come in. It's half built, but a gun range. So anyone that wants to be creepy or try anything, we have a lot of guns here. That's my warning, all right? But, but, look it, so we can, all the liberals that come compete, they'll be like, oh, this is such a fun day of games. And we'll be like, look it, if you want to win, you gotta shoot. Olympics, baby. Now, yeah, so it goes all the way back. Boom, 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 boom. We got, so during this, like, this red pill boxing, we have a boxing match we do. We can maybe even do like a pull-up contest. Go to see me do a pull-up? Boom. I can't, I don't think. Which one is a pull-up, this one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't just watch this shit. Uh, Wait, hold on. I'm so confused. I get confused by her life sometimes. Isn't she supposed to be like a really, really, really good, highly athletic volleyball player? She should be able to do some pull-ups, no? I can't tell if this is like a troll or not. I don't know. I can't, I can't do it. I can't, I can't just watch this shit though. She's bottom heavy? Yeah, every single woman is bottom heavy. It's called being a woman. Flat rack, right? You know, get a little boom, you know, you know. No one make fun of my form. Then, then we go over here. We can do like, how long can you do cardio? This. Does a thing. This. Can, you know. <laughs> what? This feels like. What are we watching? You see the. You see the vision lesson. That's it. Okay. That's it. All right. Yeah. So it's still on. I, I feel like I think Melina can do like. I want to say like nine, eight or nine, like full like pull ups even, not like chin ups or um, yeah, like full on pull ups. I'm pretty sure. My purity. <laughs> this is a special weight thing. Yeah. Then if the whales want to come here and do some weight loss challenges. Boot camp. Boot camp. So any, any overweight women that want to apply to lose the weight, because we're not, we don't just talk about the problem. We offer solutions. Now, I'm a new conditioner, so maybe I can help you with nutrition, but I've been training for 10 years. I can help you train. So, you know, this is a weight thingy. Four to five months on a tonal machine thoughts. Uh, I will say this. I will, I never, ever, 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 ever believe uh, before and afters are natty ever anymore. However, so aside from that, not to say this guy's not right, I don't believe anything anymore. I have heard surprisingly a lot of good things about this tonal machine. And it looks really stupid. It looks stupid and it sounds stupid. And the idea is stupid. But supposedly a lot of people um, say it works really, like people that do a lot of lifting and shit say it's actually a pretty good machine. But um, if you want to, um, it's like it, it's like a, it's like an all-in-one machine that goes on your wall that like uses, it's like it provides like dynamic resistance based on your lifting or whatever. It looks so stupid, but I don't know. I've read a lot of things on, um, I think even on the fitness subreddit, Imagine people say like it's surprisingly it works like pretty well, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not giving like an official review, but it just like, um, I think you can do all the major lifts on this machine, but it like measures and provides like dynamic resistance on like everything. And spot you to help finish this I will say though, something that seems really lame is apparently if you buy the machine, you have to like subscribe to the workouts to make it work too. I hate that everybody, everybody today is selling everything as like software as a service, which is super cringe. You to help finish the set. Tonal is unlike any fitness equipment before. An entire gym and personal trainer on demand in the convenience of your home. Probably doesn't give you a lot of heavyweight resistance. I think you can get past three or four hundred pounds on this. I think. I would have to check, but um, yeah. Destin, you can set the machine to overload the eccentrics and make the concentrics lighter. That's probably really good for gains. Oh, maybe he'll shower. Yeah. I think that the, the idea of being able to dynamically load a lift in response to your like exertion, it, theoretically, if you could do it well, it's probably like, it, it's in theory, it's a really good idea, right? Like imagine if you want to do 10 reps at the bench rather than having the same weight every time, like imagine if it could dynamically lower the weight by like a pound or two for your last few reps. So you're still pushing like maximal effort or whatever um, without having a spotter or without having to lower the weight or without having to stop the movement or without hurting yourself, et cetera. Right, like, yeah, I can see, um, theoretically, I could see the, the, the upsides if you can do it, but. Oh, uh, people are saying it's a hundred pounds per arm. Why'd you say the idea was stupid? Because historically any all-in-one workout machine is always stupid. Uh, what was it like talking about abortion with two people like Kristen and Leela? Uh, pretty agonizing, but do you think Pearl can do this? So close to working as well. Hughes gets it over. 
great defense from USA. And Ecuador thought they were celebrating a My point God. already. Can they clean it up here? This will be a real chance, Ghana begging, if they don't find the point. This is remarkable defense from here. Wait, is this real? I can't tell if this is real or not. Am I getting trolled? If they don't find the point. This is remarkable defense from Hughes. Absolutely scrambling. Can she find the point? She finds My the God. finish. Jesus Christ. Ghana begging if they don't find the point. <laughs> this woman back here is running like remarkable defense from fighting Hughes. for a life back there. My God. Absolutely scrambling. Can she find the point? She finds the finish. Jesus. Jesus. So you may or may not know, I did play semi-pro volleyball. I can see Pearl being like, yeah, I'm not really that wealthy. I have to live with my parents. I live like in a small house in the back. Basketball. So I was a better volleyball player. You want to see a couple things? Yeah. Oh, look, I didn't have the best hands, right? Okay. So, you know, if you don't have the court off, I'll show you a little bit of the... Oh, okay. Also, hold on. Let me do my one... <laughs> Let me do my one shout out slash call out thing. Okay, listen up, okay? Because apparently I've got a fuck ton of lawyers that watch me. If you have, if you work as a, a lawyer in the state of Arizona, and if you have experience fighting with the bar to get, like, scores released or anything like that, um, I have work for you, okay? I have a friend who's having issues with this. I have work for you. If you want, shoot me an email at contact.dc.gg. Um, if you are, if you work in Arizona and if you have any experience trying to represent somebody trying to like get their score or get through like the bar process, if they've already taken the test or whatever for anything like that, um, shoot me an email and we can, we can chat. I have a job. All right. So this is my dad's future man cave. I'm out. But my dad also said, he's going to build us. How big um, is this place? He's going to show here. He's going to build us a room over there. It's Walmart, but. You can also, it's dark, but you can see the racquetball too. So if I wanted to annoy him, I would go, if I wanted to annoy him, he locked me out, which never happens ever. I would just go in there and be like, dad, 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 I'm here. What is the context? Um, I, I don't, well, I don't wanna like blow somebody's shit up, but basically just, I like I, <laughs> basically somebody took the bar, they're not getting their scores because the people are like accusing them of weird impropriety, but there's like a lot of documentation, supposedly ostensibly to prove that this didn't happen. But the process of like going through and finding representation to get like their scores and everything back from the bar is uh, apparently really difficult. So, for the state of Arizona, let me know. This kitchen, oh, kind of lights. Bro, how many, is this place like never ending? But yeah. Why did you lose interest in building computers and stuff? I didn't lose interest, it just wasn't financially or economically viable for me, it didn't make sense. Dude, I was spending so much time on those systems. And my house, oh my God, dude. At the worst, I remember when I was, there must have been pictures or YouTube videos of this. I remember having four computers that I was benching simultaneously. Do you know how fucking hot your house gets? When you're doing Intel burn test or Prime 95 or fucking Furmark on four different systems, it's an ungodly amount of heat, fuck that shit. The pay wasn't enough for me. <laughs> It was fun though. I mean, I'm glad I got all the experience of everything, but will you update your PC build? Um, I mean, I might, I mean, I've, I have the money, but the thing is, is that like, in my personal opinion, oof, this might be a super, super hot take. PC hardware has gotten too good for software for probably like five years now. Like, I feel like I could have a rig that's like five years old. Like, actually, how old is my streaming computer? My processor on my streaming rig is, it even sounds old. i9 7980XE, awesome chip, but when did this come out? 2017. So this chip is over five years old and I do multiple high quality streams for my rig with this. I can probably upgrade my screen. I just don't know if I gain much by upgrading. And that's pretty crazy because I kind of need like performance based systems, I mean, kind of arguably, right? But like the hardware's just gotten so fucking good. The hardware's gotten so good. I remember it used to be like every year you would get like from like 2006 like to like 20, I don't know what, 12 or 13 or 14, like every year, like the next generation of cards. I feel like, um, oh, hold on, that's true too. Streaming is massively limited at 4K by bandwidth. 
That's true. That's true. That's true. If um, if we got more bandwidth to stream on, then a better rig to stream in 4K would definitely be good. Or even streaming in 1440p. I don't think I do that. Um, it looks like I do on. Oh wait, actually, wait. I might hold on. I do stream in 1440p. Just kidding. I do do that. Um, 4K though would be, I think it's significantly larger than 1440p. I'm too lazy to do the math, but. Um, Uh, oh, this this is what I'm gonna say. This is what it feels like to me. I could be wrong, but it feels like to me the last like really big upgrade to a graphics card where it was like, oh, getting the next card feels to me like the 1080 or the 1080 Ti. Like, I feel like the jump from the 1080 to the 2080 wasn't as exciting. From the 2080 to the 3090 wasn't as exciting. And now I think there's like the 4000 series have come out and it's like, okay. But like that jump to the 1080 Ti felt like, wow, like that's insane. And I feel like, if, especially because I'm pretty sure, I think most people are still running 1080p monitors, believe it or not. Um, a 1080 Ti probably still runs most modern games pretty well, uh, be my guess. But the 4090 is like 80% better than the 4090. That's massive. Wow, nice recursion. You see the new Adept drama. The big Good one. Oh, we gotta finish this, hold on. So. Basically, this is gonna be like a little house on the shed. It's like a little house on the prairie, a little house on the shed. Um. Anyways, guys, like the video on your way out, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you wanna see a tour of next. Uh, we've done office tour, done house tour, done a shed tour. And let me know what interesting video ideas could you come up with. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, like the video on your way out, subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you next time. Wow.